In this SNP, we're going to focus on how to create a CSV file with PowerShell. First, we're going to focus on using the export CSV commandlet. This commandlet creates a CSV file on the objects that are passed to it. Each object will represent a new row in the CSV. Here, we're going to use the get service commandlet, searching for any services that begin with WIN and select the properties that we'd like to export to the CSV. When we use the import CSV to review our objects, we can see that we have the four services that matched our criteria from above. Now, if we would like to append our existing CSV file, you can use the append parameter with the export CSV commandlet. Here we're going to search for the bit services and then import that CSV into our console and we see that the bits service has been appended to our existing CSV file. Next, we're going to take a look at the add content commandlet. This commandlet will append content to a specific file, but in our case, we're going to create a CSV first and then append it with data later. Here, we are passing a path to our add content commandlet, as well as the column headers for our CSV. Here, we're going to collect our data set and our employees variable. Here, we're going to pass the employees variable to the add content commandlet inside of a for each loop. Importing the CSV into our console, we will see our data set below. Next, we're going to cover how to avoid the system.object array output in your CSV file. This occurs if you have multiple data points in a particular property. In this example, in our info object, we've got two data points in our location property. If we export that into a CSV and import that back in, we will see a system.object array listed for our location. One way around this is using the join operator and specifying the separator of your choice. Here we're going to use the comma separator. And when we export and import the CSV back in, we will see that the system.object is now removed and we can see our data. One additional way around the system.object array output is to pipe the property to an out string and then add the trim method to the end. Here we will export the data to a CSV and import it back in and you can see that we are no longer seeing the system.object below. That covers how to create a CSV with PowerShell. Thank you for watching.